Robert Zubrin has devised a way of getting the first humans to Mars relatively cheaply, known as Mars Direct. It's an idea that's been adapted by NASA. We use the same technique for exploring Mars that pioneers have used on Earth, which is travel light and level off the land. First launch, you launch to Mars an Earth return vehicle with nobody in it. Flies out to Mars, takes eight months to get there. You land it on Mars, and then you run a pump, and you suck in the Martian air, which is carbon dioxide gas, and you react that with a little bit of hydrogen that you brought from Earth to produce a very large supply of methane, oxygen, rocket propellant. Now you got a fully fueled Earth return vehicle waiting for you on the surface of Mars. You shoot out the next booster, and that fires the crew out to Mars. And because the return ride is waiting for them on Mars, they don't have to fly to Mars in a gigantic Battlestar Galactica spaceship. They land that on Mars near the Earth return vehicle. They use that as their house on Mars for a year and a half. And at the end of that time, they get in the Earth return vehicle, they take off, they fly directly back to Earth. They leave their hab behind on Mars. So each time you do this, you add another hab to the base. And gradually, we build up the beginning of the first human settlement on a new world.